This is Fitness Blender's Butt Lifting Workout. In this workout, we're going to be doing two rounds of 10 different exercises. We're not going to need any equipment for this routine except for an optional exercise mat, and we haven't included a warm up or a cool down, so you want to make sure you add both of those in. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and get ready for our first exercise the knee tuck cross. We're going to be doing 14 repetitions on each side. Now, you're going to be doing this exercise on all fours, so go ahead and move down to the ground, hands directly underneath those shoulders, knees underneath those hips, and start up. Bring that left leg behind your right leg. Extend it up out to the side to about a 45 degree angle to a full extension on that leg. Then nice and slow cross that left leg back behind that right. Just nice slow controlled motion crossing from behind your right leg up and out to the side to the left. Remember you want to try to get a really nice tight squeeze as you lift that leg up and out. But don't try to over rotate those hips. You want to try to keep those hips relatively level. And make sure all those core muscles are nice and tight. Contract those abdominal muscles, those obliques in that lower back, as well as those chest and upper back muscles and those arm muscles to get a little bit more of a calorie burn out of this. So really focus on holding all those muscles through your legs nice and tight as well. You want that quadricep and that hamstring on your right leg contracted, as well as that quadricep and your hamstring on that left leg. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch over to that right side. So same exact motion, just this time with that right leg. That right knee crosses behind that left leg and then extend it up and out to the right side to about a 45 degree angle squeezing that leg up as high as you can without over rotating those hips get a nice tight squeeze on that butt every single time then nice and slow let it relax back down behind that left leg just keep it going nice and slow under control keep those lungs open breathing normally make sure all those other muscles through your body are nice and contracted And that's number 10 right there. We've got four more to go. Nice, slow, controlled squeeze. You extend that leg up and out to the side. Slowly bring it back down behind that left leg. Almost done. Just one more. And let it relax. All right, good job. Go ahead and stand up for this next exercise, the rocket squats. We're going to be doing 14 repetitions of this as well. Go ahead and get ready. And start it up. Three pulses on the way down. Once you get to the bottom of that range of motion, jump as hard as you can, straight up in the air. Draw those knees up as high as you can. Slap them against those hands. Feet right back down underneath you to catch yourself as you drop right back down to that squat. Again, pulsing three times on the way down before you start that jump again. Just keep that motion going. Try to make sure you're going as quickly as you can. So as soon as you drop back down from that jump, you're right back into that squat doing those three pulses. And then jump it right back up again. No time to take a break. Just try to push through it as quick as you can. And that was your last one right there. Let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the squat jacks with a leg lift. We're doing 14 repetitions of this one as well. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Nice low squat. Touch those toes. Then one leg's going to come up out to the side as those hands come up over your head. Then squat back down. Touch those toes again. And then that opposite leg's going to come up out to the side as those hands come up over your head. Just keep alternating back and forth with those legs. Getting a nice deep squat in the middle with those feet close together. And then extend that leg up and out to the side as high as you can. Nice straight leg without tilting those hips off to the side too much. Try to keep your torso perfectly straight up and down. Don't lean off to the side with that torso. Just keep alternating back and forth that leg. Trying to keep that motion nice and slow under control without losing your balance. Just got a few more repetitions. One more on the other side. And let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next exercise, the side pulse lunges. Again, 14 repetitions. Go ahead and get ready. And start it up. Stepping off to the right side, keeping your left leg relatively straight. Come back up to the center, then off to the left side, keeping that right leg relatively straight. You want to put as much weight as you can on the leg that you're stepping out to. So if you step off to the left, your weight should be on that left leg. And if you step off to the right, then your weight should be on that right leg. That inside leg, the one you keep in the center, should be relatively straight, either completely locked out or just slightly bent. And then you want to mainly put all that weight onto that outside leg. So that inside leg shouldn't be carrying hardly any of the weight, maybe about 20% at the very most. Now the straighter you keep that inside leg, the more weight's going to get shifted off to that outside. So you can kind of adjust that amount of bend in that inside leg to adjust how much weight you can control on that outside leg. 
Preferably, you want to be doing it with a locked out knee to get as much weight on that outside leg as possible. Just have one more. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the pulse lunge with a knee. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up. You know, step back into a rear lunge, pulse twice at the bottom, and then step up and drive that knee forward. We're doing two times on each leg. And then you're gonna switch over the opposite leg. So back to that left leg, step it back, two pulses, knee up, pulse twice, knee up, and then switch those legs. Back with the right leg, pulse twice, knee up, pulse twice, knee up, and switch back to that left. Just keep alternating back and forth. Make sure you get a really good long rear lunge, a reverse lunge. You wanna to try to get that leg back there as far as you can. The further you step back, the harder it's gonna be on those legs, the more development and the more strength you're gonna get out of that glute muscle, that butt muscle, and the more you're gonna pull that butt up nice and high, get a nice round butt. So really focus on trying to get as long of a step as you can control. Now this exercise predominantly focuses on those legs, which means you're not doing a whole lot for your upper body. So make sure you're focusing on keeping those muscles through your upper body nice and tensed as well to get a little extra calorie burn and a little extra tone out of it. If you let them completely relax, you're not gonna burn anywhere near as many calories. So really, really focus on keeping those core muscles nice and solid, that chest, that upper back, those shoulders, and those biceps and triceps. Just keep running through that mental checklist of those muscles in your upper body to try to make sure everything's really nice and tight to burn those extra calories. We're almost done. So one more on the other side. The last one. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise. We're doing a squat plus two side leg lifts and two reverse leg lifts. Another squat and then the same thing on the opposite side. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Nice deep squat. Lift that right leg first. Two side leg lifts, two rear leg lifts. Back down in the center of that deep squat. Then lift that left leg, two side lifts two rear leg lifts, back down that squat, then back to that right leg. Just keep alternating back and forth. Make sure you're keeping those motions nice and slow under control. You don't wanna lose your balance, so really, really focus on a nice controlled squeeze in each one of those positions, slowly letting that leg back down, slowly bring it back up, making sure that you're not uh, letting that leg just swing and you're not gonna build any momentum and pull yourself off balance. So it's a nice, slow, controlled motion. Every single time you bring that right leg up, you want to hover there and balance on that left leg, making sure that you're getting through all those repetitions before you set that foot back down. Then you switch over to the other side, standing on that right leg, hovering that left leg, making sure you get through all those repetitions again before you let that foot touch back down. Nice, slow, controlled motions is a way to keep that balance. The faster you move, the easier it's going to be to lose that balance. Now we're almost done. We just have two more full cycles on each leg. Two rear. Nice deep squat in the middle. Same thing on the other side. Back behind you. Nice deep squat, one more time on each side. Right leg up, pulse twice, back behind you. Back down into that nice deep squat. Same thing with that left leg, this is your last one. Back behind you, and let it relax. All right, good job, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the reverse cross lunge. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Stepping back behind you with that right leg first, then that left leg, just alternating back and forth. Relatively quick motion. Just make sure you're keeping it under control. This is a really, really good one for that outside of that butt as well as that outside thigh. You wanna to try to get it as long of a step as you can back behind you and cross behind you as far as is comfortable. Now don't try to over-exaggerate it. The further you go, the more unstable you're gonna get. So just go as far as you can control. Now we're almost done. And let it relax. All right, drop back down on the ground again, hands and knees. We're doing a 45 degree lift and pulse. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start up, starting with that left leg first. Bring it up and out to the side to a 45 degree angle. Nice tight squeeze. Tuck that knee back underneath. Extend it back out again. We're doing 14 repetitions of this. And then we're going to pause at the very end, freeze that leg up at the top, and do our pulses. Right now, just focus on getting that nice tight squeeze on that leg, tucking that knee back underneath every single time, getting a nice tight squeeze on that butt every single time as that leg comes out to the side. 
Make sure you're keeping a nice neutral spine, nice flat back, keeping those core muscles nice and engaged, those obliques, those abdominal muscles, that lower back, all those muscles should be nice and solid, as well as that chest and upper back, and those biceps and triceps and shoulders should all be contracted to get a little extra calorie burn as well. Now that pulse right there, you're going to hold it, keep going very top of that range of motion, we're doing 14 of these total, keep squeezing it, almost done. And let it relax. All right, you're going to switch sides. Bring that right leg out back behind you. 45 degree angle. Tuck it back down and extend it back up. Again, try not to over rotate those hips. Keep those core muscles nice and solid. Those abdominal muscles, obliques, and lower back. Keep that chest and upper back nice and solid. Those shoulders, biceps, and triceps. Just to get a little extra calorie burn out of it. The main thing you want to be focusing on is getting that tight squeeze in that butt every single time you bring that leg up out to the side. Again, squeeze that leg up. Squeeze that butt as tight as you possibly can, but don't let those hips over rotate. You want to keep those hips nice and solid. That'll actually allow you to, to contract that butt even more if you keep those hips stable. If you let those hips move, you're actually going to lose a little bit of that range of motion. We're almost done. Freeze it up there after this last repetition. Hold it, short pulses, a couple of inches at the very top of that range of motion, really tight squeeze, just burning that glute muscle out, that butt muscle out as much as you possibly can. We're almost done and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise, a crisscross jump. Now this one's gonna go by pretty quick, it's a fast motion, so let's go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Nice high jump, slap those hands to those knees, drop down, that left foot's gonna come in front of that right, then jump again, and then that right foot comes in front of that left. Just keep alternating back and forth with those feet, getting a nice high jump every single time, bringing those knees up as high as possible, slapping those knees to those hands, then going right back into that flutter kick motion. And we're done. Go ahead and switch it off to the next one, the plie pulses. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Get those feet out really nice and wide. Point those toes in opposite directions as much as you possibly can. Then squat down in the center as low as is comfortable. Then right back up to a full extension and then right back down again. Try to get as low as you possibly can. A short pulse at the bottom then right back up. So it's just a double pulse. Back up. Right back down into that squat. Getting a really nice deep squat on both of those pulses. Now make sure you're contracting those core muscles as well, that chest, that upper back, those shoulders, those biceps and triceps, making sure you're getting a little extra calorie burn out of this. But the main thing you want to focus on is getting that really nice deep squat. Just keep it down nice and low. We're almost done. Just a few more repetitions. Just one left. And let it relax. All right, good job. That is the end of round number one. Go ahead and pause it here if you need a little extra rest. Otherwise, we're going to start back up to round number two in just a couple of seconds. All right, go ahead and make your way back down onto the floor onto that mat. We're going to be starting back into round number two with a knee tuck cross. Go ahead and get ready. And start it up. That left leg first, bring it behind that right knee, extend it up and out to the side to about a 45 degree angle, then tuck it back behind that right knee, and then up again. Just keep going back and forth, nice slow fluid motion. Get a good cross, and then squeeze it up and out to the side. Nice tight squeeze in that butt every single time you lift that leg, get a nice straight leg, making sure you lock that knee out at the very top of that range of motion, then drop that knee back behind that right leg. Make sure you're keeping a nice flat back, don't over rotate those hips. Make sure you're trying to keep them as level as possible. Try not to let them tip up. Try not to let that lower back dip. Contract that chest, that upper back, and those arms to make sure you're getting as much of a calorie burn out of this as you can. Just keep that motion going slow and under control. And go ahead and let that leg relax. We're gonna switch sides. Same thing in that right leg. Bring it behind that left knee, then extend it up and out to the right side, about a 45 degree angle. Get a tight squeeze on that butt. Then cross it back behind that left knee again. Same exact motion. Make sure those core muscles are nice and tight. Make sure those hips stay as level as possible. Try not to over rotate those hips. Make sure your chest and upper back and those arms are nice and solid to get a little extra calorie burn out of it. But remember, primarily just focus on that leg, that right leg, squeezing it up and out to the side, getting a tight squeeze on that glute muscle, on that butt muscle, and then slowly bring it back down behind that left knee. We just have three left. 
Nice slow controlled motion, squeeze it up and out to the side. Just one more. Tight squeeze and let it relax. All right, go ahead and stand up, move on to our next exercise, the rocket squats. 14 repetitions for this one. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Three pulses on the way down, jump as hard as you can, drive those knees up, slap those hands to those knees, drop those feet right back down, and right back into that squat again. Three pulses, and then jump again. Make sure you're jumping as hard as you possibly can. Catch yourself, nice slow pulses on the way down, then jump as hard as you possibly can again, driving those knees up every single time. Just keep that motion going, we don't have very many left. Almost done, just two more. Here's your last one right here, and let it relax. All right, good job. Moving on to the next exercise, the squat jack leg lifts. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start up. Nice deep squat in the center, bring that right leg up. Nice deep squat in the center, then bring that left leg up. Just keep alternating those legs back and forth. Make sure you get a really deep squat, touching those toes. Then stand right back up with those hands coming back over top of your head at the same time as bringing that leg up out to the side. Drop that leg back down as those arms come back down and right back into that nice deep squat. Really focus on getting a nice deep squat. Get those hips down as low as you can. That's what's really going to focus on that glute. So just keep working on it. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Don't try to overdo this motion. Don't try to do it too quickly. Otherwise, you're going to start losing your balance. We're almost done. Just a few more repetitions. And that's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the side pulse lunges. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Step off to the right side, keep that left leg relatively straight, come back to the center. Then off to that left side, keep that right leg relatively straight, and then back to the center. Just keep alternating back and forth from side to side. The straighter you keep that center leg, the more weight's going to shift to that outside leg. So as you step off to the right, that right leg should take majority of the weight. And then as you step off to the left, that left leg should take the majority of the weight. That center leg, as long as you keep it straight, should be only taking about maybe 20% of that weight. So make sure you're trying to really push that outside leg. That's the one that should be doing all the work. Now you just have a few repetitions left. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Get a good wide step. The wider you step, the harder it's going to be for that outside leg. So just push it as far as you can control. We're almost done. Just one more on the other side. And let it relax. All right, good job. Let's move to the next exercise, the pulse lunge with a knee. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start up. Step back with that left leg, knee up. Step back again, knee up. And then the same thing on the right. Step back. Drive that knee up, step back, drive that knee up, and then switch it again. Just make sure you're getting a really nice long step back behind you. The longer that step is, the more work you're going to do on that glute of the front leg. The front leg is the one we're mainly focusing on. The further you lean forward with those shoulders, the more you're going to focus on that front leg, the more weight's going to shift onto that front leg, and that's the one we want to focus on to get that butt muscle. That rear leg is mainly just going to be that quadricep, the front of that leg, and a little bit of that hamstring. So mainly focus on that front leg. Just keep alternating back and forth. Remember, it's going to be two pulses. Pulse twice, drive that knee up. Pulse twice, drive that knee up, and then switch those legs. Just keep alternating back and forth. Keep that motion nice and slow under control. Make sure all the rest of those muscles to that body are nice and tight. We're almost done, just two more full cycles on each leg. Good, and switch that leg over. Just one more on each leg, drive it back, pulse twice, drive that knee up. Back, pulse twice, drive that knee up. This is your last one on the other side, pulse twice, drive that knee up. Back, pulse twice, drive that knee up, and you're done. All right, let's go ahead and move on to that next exercise, the squat with two side lifts and two reverse leg lifts. We've got 14 repetitions on each side. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Nice deep squat in the middle. That right leg comes up, pulls twice to the side, pulls twice back behind you. Squat in the middle again, then that left leg out to the side. 
back behind you twice, and then back into that squat. Just keep alternating back and forth. Keep that motion nice and slow. Make sure you get a really tight squeeze in each position. Make sure you get a really nice deep squat every single time. That outside thighs can be hit from that leg raise out to the side. That butt's can be hit from that rear leg raise. And then that squat is going to hit that butt again, as well as those quadriceps, that muscle in the front of your thigh. So this is a great overall leg exercise, but it predominantly focuses on those butt muscles. So just keep that motion going, nice, slow, controlled motion. Remember, try to keep your balance as best you can. You don't want to let that leg you're lifting touch the ground until you're done with every single repetition. And we're almost done, just have two full cycles on each leg. Again on that left leg, out to the side, and back behind you, one more on each side. Nice deep squat, side leg lift, rear leg lift, nice deep squat. There's our last one, side leg lift, rear leg lift, and let it relax. All right, let's move on to the next exercise, the reverse cross lunges. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Nice, long, deep step back behind you. Trying to drop it down as low as you can, as low as is comfortable. Then alternating over to the other side, same exact motion, just with that opposite leg. Then back up to the center. Make sure you get a really nice long step. The longer the step is back behind you, the further you step across, the harder it's gonna be for those legs, the more you're gonna get into that outside glute, that outside thigh. So just take your time, nice long step. Almost done. And let it relax. Let's move on to the next one. Get down on the ground for this one. We're doing a 45 degree lift and pulse. So that's 14 repetitions of the leg lift and then 14 repetitions of the pulse, and then we're gonna switch sides. And start up. That left leg comes up out to the side to a 45 degree angle. Nice tight squeeze. Tuck that knee back in underneath you. Then back out to that 45 degree angle. Make sure you're getting a really tight squeeze, lifting that leg as high as you can without letting those hips tilt forward and that lower back drop. You want to try to keep those hips as stationary as you can. You want to try to keep that lower back nice and flat. To do that, make sure you're contracting those core muscles, those abs, those obliques, and that lower back should be all nice and solid, as well as that chest and upper back, those arms and shoulders should all be nice and solid as well, just to burn a few extra calories. Now we're almost done, just a few more repetitions, then we're gonna pause it and hold it at the top and pulses. And freeze it right there, pulses at the very top of that range of motion, get a tight squeeze, try to really lift that leg up there, burn that glute out as much as you possibly can and let it relax. All right, drop that knee back down, get ready for that other side, extend that right leg out to that 45, tuck that knee underneath, right back up. Nice tight squeeze every single time you lift that leg. Make sure you're really working that glute muscle, keeping those core muscles nice and tight to keep that back flat. Those abdominals, obliques, and lower back should all be nice and tight through that core to keep those hips stabilized, as well as the chest, upper back, shoulders, and arms should be nice and contracted just to burn a few extra calories. Just keep running through all those mental checklists of every muscle in your body, making sure it's all nice and solid to burn as many calories as you possibly can. The main thing though, of course, is focus on that right leg, getting a tight squeeze, you lift it up and out to the side at a 45 degree angle. Now we're almost done, we have a couple more repetitions until we pause it and do those short pulses. And freeze it, short pulse at the very top of that range of motion, just a couple of inches, really tight squeeze, burn that glute out, burn that butt muscle out as much as you possibly can. And let it relax. All right, good job, that's the end of that exercise. Let's move on to the next, the crisscross jumps. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Nice high jump, bring those knees up as high as you can, slap those knees of those hands, drop it down, cross that left foot in front of that right, then back again, nice high jump again, and then that right foot in front of that left. Just make sure you alternate which foot comes in front every single time you switch those feet at the bottom, but really focus on trying to get a really nice high jump, driving those knees up, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, our last one for this routine, the plie pulses. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Get those feet out really nice and wide. Point those toes in opposite directions as much as you possibly can. Then drop down. Get a really nice deep squat in between those knees. Pulse twice at the bottom. 
Come right back up again. Don't lock those knees out completely. Keep them a little bit soft at the top of that range of motion. And then right back down into that squat again. Now you want to keep those knees a little bit soft so you don't completely let those muscles relax. So you don't lock that knee out all the way. You want to always have those muscles engaged. Make sure you're getting a really deep squat. Force yourself down as low as you can. The further you tip over forward, the more you're going to engage those glute muscles. So because we're not putting any weight over your shoulders, you're not holding any weight in your hands, you can get a little bit more out of those glutes by tipping that chest forward. Now we're almost done, just one more repetition. And let it relax, good job. This workout is complete. You just finished Fitness Blenders, butt lifting workout.